Why is it you're making me do this documentary again? It's promotional material, Nikki, to let people know who you are, let your fans know that your mixtape is coming out. What if they friends of mine and fans of mine, won't they already know I have a mixtape coming out? Yes, but this will expose you to the people who never heard of you. But if they never heard of me, why would they want to Nikki, damn, just do the documentary. Hi, my name is Nikki Lynette. Um, I'm from Chicago. I'm an entertainer. I sing, I rap, I write, I produce. 2010 was a good year for me. I got a music licensing deal with MTV and VH1. Uh, I won this big competition, with new music seminar, Artists on the Verge, came in second place. Got my picture in Billboard magazine. Got a ton of press. My style is hip hop, rock, and punk. It's kind of alternative. For a long time, the type of music that I do wasn't really accepted. I was told I wasn't urban enough, wasn't hip hop enough. Uh, but now, finally, there's a place for me in society, so I don't know. I hate trying to brag about myself because I work really, really hard to get where I am right now. My team is really small. My closest friend is my background singer and choreographer. Her name is Jamila. Hi, I'm Jamila. I'm currently looking for a third background singer. Um, I don't know why, but we can never seem to keep a third girl around. Uh, 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 my assistant, Dion, insists I carry mace on me now. Um, how to describe Dion? Um, I was telling Nikki a long time ago that she needs to quit that vegan shit, like, for real. I can't work with people who are like this big, itty bitty titties, that's not cool. Now Janet Jackson titties popped out for two seconds and what happened? Money. My manager is Keisha Howard. I love working with Keisha. She really gets me and scares me. Well, really, you need to take some classes on leadership, perspective, priorities, something. You need to get your life together. Being late with mom piece. Um, I'm Keisha Sugar Mama Howard. I've been uh, Nikki's manager for the past year now, and I'm also founder of Sugar Gamers, which is a female-oriented video game group. Um, it's really small right now. It's just me and my assistant, Rebecca. You're not the boss in Soul Calibur. Right? You're not You're... the boss in Soul Calibur. Just, just that. She's pretty good at video games and whatnot, and she's also half Jewish. So she does really great work, and she's kind of cheap. Um, but since Nikki got this licensing deal with MTV this year, we've been doing pretty good, so I think I'll be able to afford a whole Jew. Keisha really likes Jewish people. I, I recently had to have Rebecca compile a list of sound effects and phrases she uses to describe things. Uh, we call it Nikipedia. <laughs> Oi, it's been a schlep trying to remember them all. I'm doing my second mixtape right now called Roses and Guns 2, the batter ass mixtape that rocks. It's gonna feature music with Dwele, Crazy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, Emilio Rojas, uh, this punk power pop group on Atlantic called I Fight Dragons. Wait, I really love them. When's it coming out again? I don't have a release date for it yet. You still don't know when it's coming out? Oh, oh, shut up, Becca. You know we take our side. I'm talking to her. I'm not talking to you. You have nothing to do with the conversation. I don't even know why you're yelling. We're the ones who don't work. Somebody needs to. I'll keep you posted on the release date for my mixtape, Roses and Guns 2. It's coming soon to an internet near you. Hello? So, you're interested in booking Nikki? No, not that Nikki. The other Nikki. The other Nikki!